let's talk about plagues and pestilences. Let's talk about sickness and disease. And let's talk about how Jesus Christ has set us free from all of it and also empowered us to be a kingdom remedy in the earth. Joining me live here in the studio, Mr. Ben Lim. Thank you so much for having me, Robert. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Yeah. You know, when you came in today, um, we got to talking about, you know, what do you want to do shows on? And this topic came up, and I felt like Elizabeth when Mary came to visit. Uh -huh. The baby in my belly leapt. I have just been in, let's see, I've been in Hong Kong. I've been in Singapore. I've been in Bangkok. I've been in Phnom Penh. I've been in Tokyo. I've been on all sorts of airplanes. I know you have, too. I've flown east coast to west coast in the USA. Everybody's got masks on. Everybody's concerned. And, you know, it's good. We need wisdom. Mm -hmm. But what I love is we got to talking about this, and you said the the Lord showed you and gave you seven keys where we can actually supernaturally supercharge our immune system so we have nothing to fear from not only this, but any plague or pestilence, but also how we can radiate the kingdom so we can destroy these things everywhere we go. Absolutely. You know, we're meant to live uh, and conquer and not fear. And right. unfortunately, way too many Christian believers are afraid. And that's because their spirit man is not strengthened. It's because they're not in the word of the Lord mm. or they're not prayed up. Yeah. You know, even uh, this last year, I went to Congo where it was the, the tip of the breakout of Ebola. Yeah. Myself and our team, we went there. A lot of people were afraid. They were scared. Of course, we took the needed vaccinations, etc. And when we were there, we were washing our hands constantly with chlorine. Sure. But it did not touch us. And this is the promise of the Word of God. Come on. And I believe right now we need to rise up in faith and we need to destroy fear. Way too many believers, people are afraid. Yes. And again, the media, propaganda, right. all these things, it's getting you afraid. Why? So that you could actually, uh, you know, buy their uh, items so that you could, uh, you know, begin to be more fear-based so that your focus, even on the elections, right. begins to shift and change. And now the stock market is going lower. But God's about to raise it up yes. because faith arises, yes. And faith is a substance of things hoped for. Yes. So I believe God has given us wisdom, mm -hmm. keys, and revelation to not only be strong in the spirit, but physically, because God wants you well yes. and alive for the long run. That's Your right. body is the body of the Holy Spirit. It's the temple of God. And God wants to give you supernatural immunity to all of these things on this earth realm. In right Jesus on. Name. And said, we are here not to, not to be afraid of the virus, but to deal with mm. it. And we prayed against it and we commanded it to bow. Now you can say, well, yep. it must not have worked. It's like, absolutely it worked. It, and it continues to work. And every prayer goes forth and every prayer has input. And we're reaching a tipping point where in the spirit, our faith is mm -hmm. arising to cast that, mm -hmm. this thing down, to declare the name of coronavirus is not greater yeah, than the on. name of Jesus yeah. Christ, and it will bow. Absolutely. Well, of course, everything in the natural is a reflection or a manifestation of the spiritual. And that's why even Jesus in his ministry, we see clearly in the gospels that he was rebuking the spirit of infirmity. Mm. And I believe, again, these are things done in the spiritual realm. So we need to attack it. We need to war it because the Bible says we wage war not in flesh and blood, but by spiritual principalities and powers. So there's something that's happening. And so the enemy is using these open doors of fear yeah. so that he could actually distract people. He could divide people and destroy, but there's nothing to fear. So I really believe, you know, even Smith Wigglesworth, you right. know, he went to Africa when the bubonic plague was breaking yep. out and, you know, he, it didn't even come near him. And I believe this is the biblical promise where no pestilence, no plague come will come near you. This is the word of God. In fact, in Psalm 91, verse 10, and I'm so excited to get into this, Robert, uh, to share with all yeah. of our friends and viewers watching now about seven pro uh, prophetic practical keys yes. for you to grow your supernatural immunity right. against all these diseases. And this is the truth. This is the word of God. Yeah. So Psalm start 91. with Psalm 91. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Psalm we 91. Want to this word. is everything, Robert. Yeah. He who dwells in the secret place of the Lord in the most high, no evil thing shall befall you and no plague will come near your tent. Now that word tent, of course, it means your household. It means your family. It means your organization. No plague, no pestilence, no evil thing will come near you if you dwell in the presence and the glory of God. So yes. the Lord's really been ministering to me of how the glory keeps us immune. Of course, our physical, natural body, our immune system, it fights off right. all the diseases. There's, uh, it's our defense system. And the Lord wants us to be in his presence because the glory of God, which is the, the spirit of the creator, will begin to create red blood cells and right. white blood cells. Come on. The Lord will create these blood cells in your body and his blood, his 
Uh, the power of his word is actually the greatest defense against all things. Oh, so I believe, nice. you know, it's not just a revelation, but it is the reality of where we're living from. Yeah. We are greater, we are stronger than all these things. And if... If, uh, you know, we're, we're hidden in a secret place, yep. and if we're living and moving from that place, then we won't only have a remedy, right. but we will actually be able to bless the nations of the earth. Come and on. again, we are a light. We're not in, the, in a dark place. You were talking. I had to roll up my sleeves because yeah. we're getting to work fire, right now. Yeah, we're going to yeah. deal with this Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. But, you know, if any of this is challenging for you, I want you to think about a few things. One, what are we to be believing for and declaring on earth as it is in heaven? There's no sickness in heaven. Amen. There's no coronavirus in heaven. Come on. So what is the glory? The glory is the fullness of God's goodness. It's the atmosphere of heaven and the earth. It's God's presence, power, yeah. and personality. So of course as we're in the glory, there can be no sickness. And scripture is promises that the kingdom doesn't just come all around us. It's inside of Amen. us. It, it, it arises in us. So what Ben is saying Saying is a really great revelation of a natural manifestation of absolute scriptural truth. As we spend time in the glory, of course our immune system is strengthened because the glory is the atmosphere of heaven. We're infused with it. We're surrounded by it. We should be the overlap of heaven into the earth so none of this stuff can stand. If you're thinking, but it's talking about my tent, well, think about this. Mm. And I'm, I'm giving this for you to consider. I think one of the meanings here of your tent is the dwelling place. Now, your tent is your body, and it's not just your dwelling place. Obviously, I am dwelling here in the studio with you, with Ben, with Ben, our producer, and how am I dwelling here physically in this tent, this body? But it's not just my dwelling place. This tent is the dwelling place of God. Amen. For the kingdom of God lives within me. John 15 makes it clear. Yeah. I dwell in him. He dwells in me. So all we're doing is we're simply going to look at seven seven ways for you to be reminded of the fullness of the kingdom of heaven, the fullness of reality of heaven in the earth, in you, so it can manifest to you, but also through you. So Ben, let's get into this. What, are the, what are the seven steps we can do to supernaturally supercharge our immune well, system? Well, here's the thing. We are about to enter into Passover season. And we all know what the Passover, Pesach, Easter, quote unquote, season is. It's where we anoint the doorposts of our minds and on the sides of our hearts, of our lives. And we anoint it with the blood of Jesus. And nothing mm. gets past the blood, my folks, Come my on. friends. Everything has to do with the blood. And the Lord wants to increase uh, our strength, all the proteins, every vitamin, everything within mm. our bloodstream. Because we are of royal blood. We are of his blood. And that's his divine nature attributes. That's his DNA. Yeah. So the Lord wants to release that Passover miracles, it will not come to your house if it's anointed with the blood of Jesus. Amen. And that's the prophetic promise and the word of the Lord. So, uh, you know, number one, supernatural immunity in the Holy Spirit. Number one, you have to be led by the Holy Spirit. And let me give you a verse. Yeah. Romans 8, verse 14, for all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. You know, John G. Lake had this quote mm. here, and I want to read this. John G. Lake uh, shared that the life of God in me is greater than any germ mm. or bacteria put on my skin. Watch and see, and it will die. And what faith, what courageous, audacious boldness, because he knew that the life of God, the virtue, is much greater and stronger than any bacteria, Absolutely. any germ, any HIV, any STD, anything that's trying to be put on you, because G-O-D is much greater. Amen. So when we're led by the Spirit, we won't be led by fear. Right. We won't be led by the media. Right. And of course, That's good. you know, every year, every two, three years, Robert, there's going to be what? Ebola. There's going to be a swine flu. There's going to be mad cow flu. disease. Right. Yeah, totally. there's always something because, quote unquote, probably the government is trying to control or have their hands in, et cetera, et cetera. But we are of a higher realm, That's of right. a higher kingdom where we are led by the Spirit of God. That's right. Amen to that. So that's number that. one there. Okay. Yeah. Number two is being led by the power of his word. Everyone say word. 